the episode of Gemuk Fishing Aquarium. I'm now back home with all this uh, stuff that I bought. Uh, yeah, uh, let me go through with you what I just bought, and we could start off with the Eco Tank for the shrimp tank. Okay, so this is what I got from Clementi. This is a Cypress Hefton on the wood. Yeah, I think it's one of my favorite aquarium um, plants as it's quite easy to keep as one is successfully being uh, kept in the two tanks. Some horn, hornwood, hornwood, horn, hornwood. I think yeah, this one right here, one of the goldfish favorite uh, plants to eat. Uh, some one of these plants, even the shopkeeper not sure about it. But I need to look at that more. Anumbia, yeah, Anumbia, some of the ten dollars. Yeah, I be putting it in the shrimp tank, which I'm going to convert into eco tank uh, later on. Um, Java ferns, yeah, I bought two of these, yeah, for 150, pretty cheap, um, pretty resilient, and hopefully it will be able to survive. And four of four times dark wheat, yeah, to be placed on top of my uh, the current two tanks, and of course the upcoming eco tank. For fishes, I bought a red beta right here, nice one, beautiful, beautiful beta right here. I'm going to quarantine it for a while in the bus well I bought four four quarries yeah I was advised in the comments and my friends to get quarries so that it's able to uh, counter any algae growth and any parasites slash uh, snails yeah I have two panda quarries and two leopard quarries I most probably going to put the panda quarries in the existing tank while the leopard quarries I will be putting into the shrimp tank when I convert it into the eco tank Next of course is for the landscaping wise I have some white gravel here the no brain one it costs about $10 uh, this one uh, white sand good, good quality one 5 kg of course because I don't use a lot of it uh, $22 and some substrate yeah this one is uh, $18 yeah okay. $18 the Japanese brand that I used beforehand in total I spent all of this for a grand total of $91 across uh, a few stores yeah. so as you can see we got to remove the shrimps first before we can start off with the eco landscaping of the tank uh, as you can see the shrimps are actually doing quite well besides a few dead uh, I'm not too sure maybe they cannot stand the nitrate but the shrimps are doing quite well despite uh, not having plants, only one more for here and sometimes moss. Yeah. For the tank here, uh, you can see the water level has dropped uh, much more compared to this side here. Maybe we got into the slight size difference. Yeah. And you can see my main plant here, mushroom water plant main isn't doing so well compared to this size cypress yeah and if you can see you can see clearly here if I'm not sure you can see uh, you can see some small eyes under the shrimp which indicates that the babies are ready to go oh and unfortunately as you can see here right here not sure what eggs are there but I'm pretty sure those are actually snail eggs and I hope to be able to use the quarries to reduce the snail's population in the tank yeah and also the top 
most of the dark weeds are being eaten by the snails, I presume. Uh, so we're gonna top it up to reduce the risk of uh, dark grey bloom in the eco tanks. Yeah. Now let's start off with our landscaping of these shrimps. Of course, we need to remove them and put it in this dust right here while we do the uh, landscaping of the tank. successfully get as much shrimp into this vase as possible yeah i cover it with uh with the this pail not this uh yeah, scoop uh, with the rock on in the hopes that those shrimps won't jump out in the meantime also i will be quarantining this uh, beautiful red siamese fighting fish in the other mask. Yeah. Uh, at the end, this beautiful guy is gonna be into this eco tank right here after we landscape it. Of course, I want to allow it about one day of quarantine to see how is the fish like. Since that, we also take the opportunity to acclimatize the corries to the water here yeah yeah i hope the corries won't be in any harm to the uh, fighting fish or rather the corries won't be harmed by the fighting fish as you can see behind there looking really there's many things deep towards the corries yeah hopefully the be able to get along once they are to get in the tank. Okay, now as you see, the tank has been uh, emptied and watered down. Uh, we can start with the landscaping, and of course, I got my forever here. We don't need much, as just need to be around it. Uh, I learned from the first few videos and from the comments, of course, that is there should be at least five cm. Uh, of soil, so I'm going to put extra soil here to ensure that um, there will be enough nutrients for the plants uh, and the ecosystem to hopefully thrive uh, in this eco tank. Okay, so first of all, we need our chastity kit right here, our landscaping kit. Oh, we can start off. Okay, we have our ruler here. We baby ruler. Yeah, we have our point yet, 
yeah, we going to have at least 5 cm of uh, substrate. So. Somewhere around here. Yeah. A bit, uh, about two finger length above the gravel. Yeah, to be precise. Hopefully, we're able to do that, achieve that with our one bracket of 4 kg substrate right here. Uh, halfway through, I actually realized I forgot to put the Anum Bias in first where it will be much more simpler to have it down there and adding the substrate then putting it after because it's quite a big, big plant that I got uh, so since we're halfway, why not we just stop and put it in Uh, as you can see, it's about 5 cm of substrate right there. Uh, so hopefully, the eco tank will work out much much better compared to the previous two tanks. Yeah, I think I got a uh, hundred too big here. Uh, it's not fully going to be submerged in water, so I hope it's not going to be an issue. Uh, let's see and find out next of course we're gonna put in this sand right here it's a bit much more pricier compared to the other sand because it's gonna be white sands uh, not the one in Pasir of course <laughs> it's gonna be a white sand because as you can see it's a um, natural uh, substrate and it's going to allow the plants to pass through uh, sand seamlessly to get into the soil while also keeping the soil um, down in the bottom uh, of course white sand you can use any type of sand of course but white sand is better as I feel it will show the tank in a much more clear nicer light of course to allow uh, it to be I to see like nicer on the eyes for me. Yeah, you can use any type of sand, of course. For the sand, it's pretty fine. You see, it's 
really fine, fine set. So I think I'm going to pour it in and use my uh, let's get food to just push it aside. Okay, as you can see, there are distinctively three different layers of uh, gravel, substrate, and sand. Now, at the end, we're gonna uh, mist down the tank. Okay, this tank. It's ready to so introduce other plants. We're gonna put in the citrus and then uh, probably in uh, this corner right here. Alright, I have prepared the Plus here, yeah, I believe they are called bakopas. Um, we will sprightly put them into the bottom of the tank. Next up will be these uh, hot worms, hot on worms. I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, please comment if uh, I get it wrong. I of course have this java fern uh, Not sure should I put it in Because I got two of them One of them I was planning to put in Replace the plastic plant That I have in the uh, eco tank uh, Maybe I'll put right behind here See how it goes uh, If it's too cramped I will take it out Okay, now we're going to fill up the water in this tank right here and let's see how it goes. Uh, I tried to, I, my plan was to put some blocks inside but I think it's too squeezy really. Uh, so it's best to just water it down and see how it goes. Yeah. Fortunately, I need to use this bill uh, right here. Hopefully, our shrimps won't be jumping out and committing suicide.
Okay, look. We have filled up our tank. Uh, so far, so good. It looks pretty neat. Uh, we'll be placing in uh, the shrimps in a couple hours' time to see how does the tank go with uh, it. And we'll be adding petas, uh, the red petas, after uh, this time. Uh, I will update how does the tank look to its sister tank. It all goes around and we will have three tanks to update over the course of the series. Okay, that's all for this episode. I will be adding in the shrimps in the next episode. It will be in a couple of moments time. Uh, and also I will be adding in the corvids into the uh, two existing tanks. Uh, and a new one of course. I will also be adding the red beta. As always, I'll catch you next time.